Alrighty, my friends. Well, this is going to be a long flight, isn't it? Yes. We've spent a lot of our time on flight paths today so far. <laughs> don't forget my mail to books. True. True. I don't really need Gift of the Wild yet, but I should at least learn the one I can use at level 50. Um, a bard wants to be more powerful, and so he strikes a deal with a witch. The witch says she will only grant his wish if he gives her first gives her his firstborn son. The bard laughs and says, "Sure, good luck finding him." <laughs> it's pretty good. Has anyone tried the sworn demo? It's Hades with the multiplayer, basically. <laughs> Not me, sorry. So Shogi, I messaged my on on the break there. I messaged my brother and. Uh, uh, Steven and Tim, I messaged them to let them know that we're creating characters on Ascension. <laughs> you remember how scary it was seeing a devil sword in Angoro for the first time? Yeah. Yeah. What's my cookie of choice for GG cookie time? Well, Viper, if I could choose, it would be homemade cookies. But it's so much work to make as many cookies as I would need to have them on the stream every time. So I just, I just buy Chips Ahoy or the, you know, supermarket brand version of Chips Ahoy cookies since they're the easiest. It's boring, I know, but I like cookies so much that I eat them too much. So if I make them for myself, they don't last very long. Chocolate chip. Zero G is going to play too. Nice. Anything but oatmeal raisin. <laughs> Greeting Red Pack Chips Ahoy cookies as well. Yes. Well, hashtag not sponsored, but there we go. <laughs> Chewy Chips Ahoy cookies. Uh, you love those giant zone-specific mobs? The Fell Reavers and Hellfire Peninsula, Peninsula were the coolest? Yeah. Very iconic. I can hear the sound of those Fell Reavers in my mind, that roar, electronic roaring sound they make. So Shogi, you gotta tell me, what, what four abilities do you, do you want to start, are you gonna start with? So, the four abilities I started my Ascension character with were Curse of Agony, Corruption, Shadow, uh, Shadow Word Pain, and then I started with Mark of the Wild, but I felt like I needed a heal, so it looked like the best instant cast heal over time was the Priest Renew. So, I used Renew. So those were my four spells. And last night when I hit level 11, I was able to get one more skill and I got... I got the Warlock, um... Imp Pet. So he could help me do a little damage and he can give me that blood, uh... What is it called? Blood Aura buff that gives you extra health or whatever. You used to eat those cookies by the bag? Yeah, yeah. Addictive cookies. Definitely addictive. Uh, you fix Searing Totem, Fire Totem Mastery, and Dominate Undead. You want to go Dark Shaman. Wow, okay. What does Dominate Undead mean? Does that mean you can get, like, a Skeleton Pet? I don't remember that ability. Was that a, was that a Death Knight ability? Yeah, Death Knights did have a skeleton pet, didn't they? Okay. Wow, Dark Shaman. That's cool. <laughs> All right. I don't remember that one. I'm going to pull that up on my other screen here. Again, I don't want to show this on stream in case there's any rules against Ascension being on stream. So just check it out on, on your own uh, browser, anybody interested. Wait, that's weird. Their builder doesn't have Shadow Knights on their website. That is so weird. When you play the game, you can choose Death Knight, or not Shadow Knight, Death Knight abilities. The builder doesn't even have Death Knight. That's crazy. That's weird. Maybe, maybe they haven't updated their website to have Death Knight on it yet. You're supposed to be able to run dual pets, Shogi. I saw many people with pets. I don't know if I saw a double pet, but try it. You should absolutely try it. Whichever other pet you think would be cool, give it a try. You could probably go a hunter pet with your skeleton pet, or uh, if you want a warlock pet to go with the like dark theme. I don't know. Get a. F You'd have to do a low level one because you you don't unlock like fell guards or whatever until late levels. 
But you can probably do the hunter pet, I'm guessing. And you still have to tame the pet, I think, as if you do the hunter one. Go double tank, uh, double pay pet mode. Imp plus hunter pet, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see where we are here. Duskwallow Marsh. So we're flying to here. Turn in this secret ingredient. And I'm going to run up here to turn this quest in. And we're going to head to Angoro here. Neo pets. What are Neo pets? Is that like those little... It's like a chia pet. Chia pet are those little things you grow the plants in. I don't know what a neo pet is. Or are those those little um, what those those little like there's a little electronic pets that we had in like the 90s. You had to feed your neo pet or something. No, that was probably something else. I forget. Those are tamagotchi. Okay, <laughs> tamagotchi. Oh, I think off stream. Also, I think I did this off stream. Uh, I, I got heavy rune cloth and rune cloth bandages trained, which was here in Dustwall of Marsh. So I got that done. Um, like I told you earlier, I made the Helm of Fire. I still haven't tested this. I need to test. Whoa, that's buggy. Light path can apparently go through boats. I won the lottery of that weird randomness happening. I need to try out the Helm of Fire proc. Um. Just don't have enough ability slots for that. Um, hopefully, I'll remember to give that a test. Alchemy is getting close to being maxed, though. The hippogriff forgot how to steer. <laughs> Talking about pets and stuff. Yeah, but I don't know what a neo pet is. I don't know what a neo pet. Rick and Neo over here is, uh, you know, a Matrix reference. For Keanu Reeves' character, but I don't know what a Neo pet is. But yeah, just just talking about different builds in this Ascension thing. That's t to me one of the best parts about video games is coming up with builds and fun, new ways to create a character and stuff. And so a, a game or a mod that gives you this much freedom is like right up my alley. So I'm interested what you are. Um, Dark Shaman will look like, or what Zero G's, I don't know, melee monster will be. It would be cool if you could name your, uh, your character. Not character name, but like their, their class that you're creating. Call your class a Dark Shaman. Call my guy a, you know, Shadow Bard, or, you know, it'd be cool if you could name your, name your class you make up. Maybe you can do that for posting the build for other people to copy or something. Neopets was a free-to-play web-based game. Okay, uh, well, I am ignorant of, er, ignorant of that. Sorry, I never played that one, Gunther. An Affliction Rogue, yeah, where you have, like, a bunch of nature damage or do all poisons and warlock affliction spells or something. That was from back when Flash games ruled the internet. Okay. I remembered playing a couple Flash games. I was always such a like hardcore PC gamer that I didn't get into that many Flash games because I was playing WoW or something else instead. Alright, do I want to change my bind? kind of like being bound over an Iron Forge. It's a nice in-between place. Especially since I can teleport to Moonglade anytime. Alright, does this quest lead to another Angoro quest? That would be, you know, efficient. Marin Noggin Fogger. Okay, so deliver over here. Is this a Noggin Fogger elixir quest where I get to turn into a skeleton or whatever? I remember the Noggin Fogger elixir, everybody using that all the time. Yeah, Noggin Fogger elixir. <laughs> okay. Such nostalgia from this thing. So many people would raid as a skeleton using this Noggin Fogger looks like. Can you repeat that and do that again? Now you can just buy it. <laughs> Alright. 
So how does this work with me being a kitty cat? If I do that and then go into cat form, I stay as a I stay as a skeleton. Okay, interesting. All right. Oh, is that underwater breathing too? Classic noggin fogger elixir. That reminds you of savory de deviant delights too. Yeah. <laughs> Sound is being creakly again. Damn it. Well, I'm ignoring it, Madman. People are telling me, but it's only certain sounds in the game, and it's not my microphone. So I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to say sorry that my quality of stream is bad, because I have no control, and I don't know why it's happening. I think it might be a capture card thing, and maybe I need to replace a wire or something. Uh, flash games are what we did in high school during computer class before they whitelisted websites you could go to. <laughs> Eh, it's fine. Well, if it's fine, you wouldn't tell me about it. Like, walking up to say, somebody and saying, uh, hey, your hair looks funny. Like, well, I can't fix my hair. Well, I just want to let you know so you'd be self-conscious. That's how I feel when you tell me my sound is crackly. You're telling me something that I can't fix. Hey, Rand, you're bald. Thanks for folk pointing it out and making me self-conscious. I appreciate that. Uh, by the way, uh, your mustache is goofy. You know, I mean, does that help? No, you're not going to change it. But now, hopefully, you feel self-conscious. Uh, in high school, you and your friends installed GTA on the computers. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto, that's great. Great. I know, you're trying to help me by letting me know that, about the audio quality. I wish I could do something to fix it. Be careful. All right. Hinterlands. Oh my god. I only have one hour before the hatchling within the egg dies. Really? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna come back and do this quest off stream, because what I would do is I'd pick this quest up, heart the Iron Forge, fly up to Hinterlands, and then turn in this quest. So, Jesus. I know. Timed quests, and it's a timed quest that's literally taking you to the other continent. So annoying. Alright. Well, that's fine. I have a I have stuff to do off stream. Is that showing up on oh, my quest log? Newest member of the family. Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So off stream, what do I have to do? Um, is it just that one? I think it's mainly just that one. Oh, I have a stormwind turn in. So I have a stormwind turn in and an iron forge delivery quest from Shimmering Flats. So those are two off stream quests I got to do. Before Friday. God, those are so annoying. <laughs> that's freaking. Uh, not only is it delivery, it's a delivery that's timed that's really uh, far away and inefficient. Thanks, FTL. Thanks. Gotta love it. Uh, in your class, you convinced your computer teacher to let us install Half Life. On a server Dropbox, we could play Half-Life on any computer in school. Wow. Must have been a gamer teacher if they would let you get away with something like that. Only a gamer teacher would be like, yeah, sure, you can play video games from any computer in the school. Why wouldn't I let you do that? All right, at least I have a decent number of uh, quest slots open, so that's good. Your teacher wasn't a gamer, just old. <laughs> just old. What does that mean? They were so old they didn't know what you were doing? He thought it was a chemistry thing because it was Half-Life? Is that chemistry or physics or what is Half-Life when you're talking about like radioactive isotopes or something? Maybe he thought it was a science thing. Pretty crazy. I can like just... I can get my travel form. I can do my sprint. <laughs> There's an animation for faster running skeleton with uh, dash and cat form. That's funny. That is crazy. I did not know that. I didn't know that if you had a noggin fogger elixir, it would let you shape shift and uh, stay looking like a skeleton the whole time. It's crazy. I am not going to jump down. That's the way you die. 
getting to Ungoro. We're gonna run around here. Uh, speaking of Half-Life, you should check out Black Mesa. I played it last year and loved it. Is that the sequel to Half-Life or like the, like an add-on to it? I feel like I might have played that. This is weird. What, the skeleton skin? Uh, that class was to learn how to type and use Microsoft Word and Excel. I guess the class that your teacher taught that lets you play Half-Life, I guess, is what you're talking about. Uh, Black Mesa started as a fan-made remake. Okay. Hmm. Is it like a standalone story of Half-Life using Half-Life characters or what? Uh, unless you get Noggin Flogger, Noggin Fogger Slowfall. Oh! Is Noggin Fogger give you random things? Uh, well, it's fine. I want to check if Tuga's Quest is available anyway, so. I'm going to use that as my excuse to not try to get a random Slowfall enchant from this. And then we slowly fall into Devil Soar. <laughs> Thankfully, I could probably run away with Cat Form or Travel Form, so it should be fine, but. I want to escort Tuga. Tuga the turtle. Tuga the tortoise. I've never seen this Tuga up. So, I'm just going to go check real quick. See if we finally get lucky and get this quest done. Black Mesa is on Steam. They remade Half-Life with a modern engine. Oh, so it's a modern engine version of Half-Life. And it got Val's Blessing. That's cool. Like use Unreal 5 or something. So many, like, game demos are like, look at what I made in Unreal 5. And it's like, it looks pretty. And then there's, like, no actual gameplay. Like, uh, World of Warcraft remade in uh, Unreal Engine 5. Looks amazing. But it's not an actual playable game. It's just somebody playing with the art and stuff. Alright, Tuga. The Isle of Tortuga. Are you here, Tuga? Tuga, where are you at? I want to save you. Hmm. Yeah. When I looked this quest up on uh, Wowhead, it said you have to wait for it to respawn. But I've checked it like four times now, and I have not seen Tuga there ever. So... I give up. Tuga will never be escorted by me, I guess. Playing Minecraft on a computer in Minecraft. <laughs> that is so meta. You can do it, but you don't want to. Yeah, that sounds sounds very interesting and weird. Uh, they completely redid all the XEN levels. Not sure what engine it uses, though. Zen levels. XN. I'm not sure if I know what that means. I haven't played Half-Life since, like... When did it come out? 2001 or something? I don't know. I haven't played it since forever. Alright, so now we can start off by doing the quest from this Torn guy over here. Now, we had a... Druid quest that told us to come over here. We can pick up the Zelda Lincoln quests. Okay, there's a lot of good quests in Ungoro. Do some good questing here. Alright, I'm gonna chat with you while I make some heavy made weed bandages. You cool with that, bro? Alright. Apes. Um, carcass of a. Uh... Find a carcass of Larkorowee's freshest kill, steal a piece. Okay. Blood Petal Poison. I vaguely remember these quests. Vaguely. Okay. Watch out for wandering Devil Swords. Yeah, the Devil Swords usually stay. If my memory serves me correctly. Uh, north and west side of the zone. They wander up here and down here. Maybe over here. This part of the zone, I think we're usually pretty okay. But yes, I will be careful. Thank you for 
looking out for me, chat. I will be careful. And eventually, I think we need the power crystals for some quests, so should I be collecting them? Maybe not. I'll let you grab that if you need it. I don't actually know if I need that quest yet. Yeah, we pick up these blue caps. Actually, why did I do that? Bump myself first. I think we get a quest for these raptors, I think. We'll grab the secret to everybody thing over here. I think it's seven of each color you need if to find. Okay, thank you. It's too far away. It's probably kind of like a quest for um, in blasted lands, where it's like a repeatable quest to get consumables. I think. Speaking of, I should just use those up. I'm guessing, I'm not worry about saving those for anything. Fighting mobs that are close-ish to my level. I'll use one of them. Let's use, um, use, let's use the agility one. Let's run around these guys. 16 tracked quests. That's right. 16 to 20. And I have... Crap, ton more I can pick up up there, so <laughs> I might be dropping some quests. All right, where is this one? It's right over here. Go grab this green crystal. The ape cave in the zone is another certified death cave. Yeah, yeah. I think um, if I remember those those apes. Do like a thunderclap ability, and when they get low, they call for help. So I think there's like a social calling for help aspect that makes that uh, even more sketchy and scary. Right, is this in the water? I think it might be in the water. Yes, this bag right here. All right. All right, so we examine the contents. Large compass, map fragment, line-headed key, throwing daggers, faded photograph. And we can look at the photograph, and it's Link and Zelda. <laughs> Two gnomes, it's great. All right, and do I have to look at these things? No, I think I just take them to the guy up there, to Link over there. Okay, what quest do I want to do first? Uh, let's go get this Threshadon carcass thing over here. While picking up blood... Whatever they're called. Blood caps and crystals along the way. You haven't seen that picture in ages? I know, so much nostalgia. Just one of the best parts of playing WoW Classic. Nostalgia is so good. The zone has tons of references, does it? What are some of the other ones? I don't know if I remember. That's the main one I remember. Is the Zelda one. What are these blood petal sprouts for? I'm not sure. Do you remember any of the other references? <clears throat> uh, I think there's something else that you don't remember. Okay. <laughs> there's so many references! I don't know what they are, though. But there's so many of them. So many references. Like, we could do so many activities together, like... Um... Like, play games and other things that I can't think of. But there's so many things that we could do together. All the activities. 
We're best friends. We just became best friends. Uh, there's a Mario and Luigi reference. Oh, you're right. There is. There is. Yeah, you're right. There's a, like a green and red dressed brothers up there or something. Okay, good memory, taters. Good memory. I'm all making fun of you, and you're absolutely right. Okay, what was it? Seven of each of these? At least stay close together so I can keep track of how many of each of those I have. You don't remember what their names are? Yeah, but I, I, I think I remember that, too. Okay, we're done with reds. So yellows, blues, and greens. Oh, come on. Oh, on Goro soil, and I need the soil as well. So many of my quests are just pick up crap off the ground in this zone. Okay, why don't you do it? Oh, that's too far. Ain't nobody got time for that. Okay. Wait, I have two separate on Goral soil quests? Does that mean I have to get 25 of this? Okay, well, that's, that's annoying. Right. Oh, there's a devil sore. Okay, I was wrong when I said they only stay up where they were. This is further south than I remember these guys going. Okay. I'm out of range. Okay, okay, if you move away, I'll let you walk away. I'll let you live. There's that thresh on kill. Something like Marielle and Louis John or something like that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds that sounds vaguely familiar. I need to get closer. Too far away. There's a lot of important dirt in this zone, that's right. It's very important. Not important enough for them to come get it themselves, but important enough for tell a very heroic person to, hey, go run an errand for me and pick up dirt. All right, I'll do my best. I'll go pick up all your dirt. All your dirt. I need to get closer. All right, which part of you do I need to be near there? Okay. Oh, this might trigger something. Will that trigger anything? No, okay, good. All right, uh, what other quest do you have? You're also on Goro soil. All right, let's, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's, let's go back and turn this one in and just pick up stuff back and forth between there. It's going to take a while to get all those different soil I need for this quest, I think, anyway. I think there's something with collecting eggs for these raptors that you got to do eventually as well. And then kill these lashers. There's a good amount of quests in Angoro. There's like quests to do basically, interact with basically everything in this zone. I'm such a dirtbag right now. <laughs> oh, you know, something I think I remember doing is I think as a hunter in the Beast Mastery, um,. Talent tree, there's something like specialized beast tr training or uh, taming or something, and you can you can tame those big devil sores, right? I think you can tame those big devil sores in this zone. Very difficult because of how hard they hit, but I'm pretty sure you can tame those. Peace. Unless that was added in Burning Crusade, Maybe which might might be the case. Might have been a Burning Crusade added thing. Right, two Ravasaur pheromone glands. Okay. I don't need the reds. Uh, the real gorillas can drop empty barrels. There's another Donkey Kong reference. Okay, okay, that's another good Nintendo one. You're right. You are right. So many Nintendo references. I probably never understood why they were dropping empty barrels. I probably never got that reference. This is so stupid and random. No, it's funny. It's funny. You're supposed to get the joke. I should have gotten that joke. I should have. I think it was BC or Wrath they added that. Yeah, I think you're right, Uther Bright. I think that was added in 
a later expansion. It was like exotic beast taming or something like that. something about uh, the eggs and that one uh, spawns okay all right this should fine probably well, I need to pop out and heal but we should be fine oh she left okay that's weird oh and I need to kill you for your pheromone gland okay that was weird I was not expecting you to de-aggro all right works out great now I can murder you by yourself Maybe this is the thing where you walk near the eggs and that spawns the mate to get the pheromones or something. Not enough I don't have enough there we go, one of those. Okay, so let's find another set of eggs. I don't think another one will spawn here, right? No, no, okay. Or do they always spawn when you fight one of these Ravasaurs, I wonder? I feel like they spawn when you're near the eggs. I feel like that's how this mechanic works. There are things I need here. Actually, I don't need the reds, but I do need... I do need... Blood caps, or... Blood... Blood... Whatever they're called. Blood petals. Blood cap petals. Petal petals. Oh, and another quest. What is this quest? Return it to somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I think that's... To help lead you up into this area where all those quests givers are. The point of that, I think. There's some eggs right there. Okay. We don't have enough reds. Get extras in case I need them. Alright. Uh, if I walk up to this stealth, will that spawn... Yes, I just became in combat. Okay. I'll fight you, Solo. It's interesting. That little mechanic makes them aggro me while I'm in stealth. There's potentially a way I could have pounced on them, but I think I have to be behind those, so maybe I can't. Maybe I couldn't. Have done that. All right, is that the glands? The glands are done. Okay. And I think this quest leads to you summoning some mob you gotta kill. I hope it's not elite. If it's elite, I might not be able to solo it, depending on how what level the uh, summoned mob you need to fight. Uh, return it to somewhere. That sounds like lore. Is it? Is that, is that lore? Is that a joke, or is that is there is there a somewhere reference in Zelda, Zelda or something? The winds guide you. Okay. Walk with the earth. All right. Using the contents of the pouch, summon Larkor We. We shall meet again. Okay, it's not elite. No, it's just to the north of us, right? Yeah. Level 56, though. Hmm. I think I'll wait a couple levels before I do that. Or wait till I have somebody to group with for that. Because if it's actually level 56, that's plus 4 to me. I could probably do it with heals in the middle, but... No reason to really force it yet. That was just a rant joke. Oh, it's lore, so I don't care about it. Is that the joke? <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. I don't know, maybe I try it? Do I try it? Do I try a... Sometimes when they have, like, it's a level 56 qu quest, it's like... You fight like a level 54 or 55 or something. I think I might try it because of how much of a... stubborn and risk-taker person I am. 
because I like the challenge. I think I am going to give this a try. If I need to, yeah, I'll run. Okay, reds and yellows are done. Just need greens and blues now. I am now connected to Blizzard services. What? You've been disconnected from Blizzard services. What? Uh, by the way, uh, apparently... Okay, these guys are level 60 elites. Thankfully, they're yellow. Just don't attack them. I think something's been going on with Blizzard's employees or something. Oh, yeah, these things. There's, like, a quest with these things, too. With, like, the support for their games not going well or something. Hey, yeah, there's a quest that I eventually need to do for that. Like them getting their employees getting fired or something. So I remember looking up on a looking up something on a forum and they're like, good luck getting a Blizzard employee to respond since uh, everybody's getting laid off at Blizzard or something. Time to make spaghetti. Have a good night. All right. Have a good night, Scott. All right. Let's use our all of our buffs. Which I have not that many buffs I can use. I guess I'm just going to do the food buff. Because this intellect buff, I don't think will be much use here. I forgot to get that Mark of the Wild thing again. Okay, so I got my buffs. Pretty sure we do is this. And then put the pheromone on the meat. And then go stealth. Where does he come from? It comes from over that way. He is level 56, okay. Uh, I want to get behind you to start this fight. I don't know if I can get behind you to start this fight. Maybe I can't. Jump over the bones. There we go. Alright, plus four. I will stun and heal if needed. Good start. Didn't resist my first attack. He's not elite. That's the main good thing here. He's non a non elite. I'm gonna pop out and heal here. Probably don't need to, but I'm doing it. Nice. Easy. Plus four. No problem. No problem. Oh, and you even dropped it on Goro soil. Nice. Druid OP, man. Plus four. No big deal. No big deal. All right. I only need one more green crystal for having seven of each for crystals of power. Yes. Seven of each color. Yep. Okay. Whoever said that, good frickin' memory. Good memory of that. Uh, did I say one, need one more green? I do, and there's a green right there. Okay. Tech Warrior will reach level 60. Well done, Tech Warrior. In eight more levels, chat, it's going to be Rando Beast has reached level 60. I wonder if anybody, I wonder if when you hit level 60, if everybody like whispers to you like, good job or, or anything like that. I wonder if there's any sort of like congratulations committee. The congratulations committee. Well done. You're a nerd. You did it. You're so hardcore. So hardcore. Ravis Ravisaur Trainer. I wonder what that guy's for. I think that's a Ford Leatherworker Trainer or something. A winner is you. That's totally what they say. Totally. What brings you here? Go in peace. 
Uh, 23 stamina. Wow, okay. Alright, that's my new tank chest piece that I keep gathering tank gear for for a role that I never have played on this character. By the way, it makes no sense for there to be water coming from above since we all know above is the Tanar's Desert, so... It's, what is that? Is there, is there rain in here somehow or something? Because there's definitely not rain in the... Uh, up in the zone above us. Uh, I might as well go do this Gorishi quest here while we're down here. I think that's going to be a turn in back into Norris. You're level 4, you still don't have your third ability? Yeah, Shogi was annoying for me too. It took me a while to figure out. If you mouse over and look through stuff, you'll find that you get to choose three abilities to, or four abilities to start, but you don't start getting more uh, ability points until level 10. So you won't be able to get a fourth ability until level 10 or 11, I believe. That's why I actually got to level um, 11 last night, because I wanted to get one more ability. So once, once you hit level 10, you get a skill point and a talent point every level, and it looks like most of the abilities cost you two skill points. So in general, it looks like the uh, the leveling curve is every other level you can pick a new skill because it costs two skill points kind of thing. It's a spring. Ah, oh, yeah, it's water coming from up from below. That's the lore reason. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 that's the ticket. Sneak between all these raptors. Looking for stuff I need to loot. Which I don't need any more crystals. I just need soil and those blood petal thingies. So yeah, it's kind of weird that they give you four abilities and then you're like, no, you don't get any more until level 10. So a little, little interesting mechanic there. Might hold off till level 10 so you can get Enslaved Demon. So what do you have right now? Um, didn't you say you had a couple totems? And the skeleton ability, a skeleton pet? How does Enslaved Demon work? You have a zombie and a fire totem. Okay. You should have one more ability, right? Maybe you got like a heal or something. I forget how uh, Enslaved Demon works. I think I had that on my warlock, and isn't that like just a short-term pet? I don't know. I don't. Know. I don't remember how that ability actually works. You're gonna save your ability points, yeah. Well, what you can do is, from what my understanding, I'm messing with last night. You can re refund your your abilities before level ten for free, so you can mix and match and try things. But once you hit level 10, um, it costs those points you get every time you complete a certain type of quest that gives you, like, ability score or something. That ability score is then points that you get are used to respec, I think. You're gonna go Voidwalker. Okay. <laughs> you want all of the pets. All right. I wonder how many pets you can have, Max. So that'll be an interesting to, thing to test out. I wonder if you can have one pet per class. Like, could you have the Death Knight pet, a Warlock pet, and a Hunter pet? Go triple pet mode? Be the master of puppets? Master of puppets? Master of pets? Okay, what did, where did you come from? You came from far away. I don't know if you can do that. I think I heard that you can do two pets. I don't know if you can do three pets, though. That would be pretty insane. You have poisoned me. You have poisoned me for the last time, for the first time, for the last time. Are even level to me. You want to have two pets 
and that you can buff and fight alongside in Valhalla. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, I want to get a bunch of buffs too, but my buffs will be the non-shaman buffs. I'll let you get all the shaman buffs because you're the dark shaman. Uh, physical damage taken is increased by 42%. Damn, I can't get rid of... Uh, can't get rid of diseases, only poisons. That sucks. Well, actually, I do have a way to do it if I want to use one of these remedy things. It's too far I'll probably wait till I'm done fighting these guys because cleansing it and then just getting diseased again would be a stupid, stupid thing to do. A wasteful thing to do. You're gonna shammy it up, nice. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage here. Come on, dots, kill him quickly. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, we got the scent gland. Okay. Now I need. What do I need? I need some parts or something. Stingers, I need more stingers is what I need. I'm out of range. Damn, I don't want to fight too. Ugh, they're too close. We're gonna call you Shamwise Gamgee. <laughs> is that your uh, I don't think you can do surnames, can you? Oh man. If you can, that'd be amazing. Just sham wow. <laughs> All the shaman puns for your name. I like Shamwise Ganji. That's great. What's up, Sentech? How are you doing? I don't know if you can do a uh, last name or not. You can't in regular WoW, but maybe maybe you can in Ascension. That would be cool. If you like hit level 20, you can add a surname. Okay, I've gotten zero stingers from these guys so far. Oh man, do I want to keep I, this? This feels like a death cave going down in here. I ain't gonna hold off on this quest. I feel like I want at least one more level going into here. What other quests can I do? I have some turnins up there. Maybe, maybe I can search for these guys with stickers outside. I just don't want to go down into the cave. Seems like a death cave type of play right there. It's too far oh, away. I see some Angoro soil over there. Angoro soil makes me think of um, <sighs> Adam Sandler, um, Billy Madison. O'Doyle rules. O'Doyle rules. Is that is that Billy Madison? There's like these bullies at the school he went to. In every grade, there was these kids with the last name O'Doyle, and they would like you know push someone down the down on the playground, and then go O'Doyle rules, and that's what Angoral soil makes me think of. Didn't the Shamwow guy go to jail or die or something? Um, Billy Mays here. He did pass away. Shamwell guy. Uh, maybe he did go to jail. I don't. I don't remember. But I think there was some drama with him. Your shaman back in Burning Crusade, Lich King was I am Sham, but there was someone called Shamlock in the guild. Okay. And you weren't called Sham as a nickname. Instead, you saw your name become I am's Ham, like the cat food. So your nickname was Cat Food in Guild. <laughs> All right, it's a good story. Iams, Iams, I A M S is is yeah. It's a. Well, I mean, there's dog food too. So dog or cat food, either one works. So it's a, it's a pretty good nickname though. It's a good one. I approve of that nickname. Oh crap! Run away. You don't have stingers for me. You have a stinger. Although I've gotten zero so far. This quest looks kind of crappy. This Get eight stingers from very rare mobs. I'm out of range. Yeah, there's parrots in this zone. That's crazy. I forgot about that. 
Dude, every single one of these guys is poisoning me and I forgot to get my uh, thorns back up. Uh, you're currently watching the VODs of this druid run? Just past the Deadmine dungeon? You suppose this is a bit of a spoiler of me surviving. <laughs> True. True, this is a spoiler. My live stream is basically always a spoiler for my YouTube videos. Spoiler alert. My YouTube videos are spoilers. Because if you come into a FTL run and see that the streak is still alive, then you know that I didn't die on any of the YouTube runs, so... I don't know how to fix that. You either watch the YouTube or the Twitch, but not both. Because if you watch both, you will be spoiled. Don't know what to say. It's, that's deep. I know, right? We have very deep conversations here. About the nature of spoiling. Yeah. Um... YouTube and Twitch videos. It's very deep, very deep. Don't question how deep it is. It's too far away. Man, fighting in the middle of a bunch of bugs here. I need to get closer. Sure, I don't get aggro from extras. Another poison. It's almost like your stingers have poison on them, and every time I fight you, I get poisoned by these poison on your stingers. If you poison me, I should get a guaranteed stinger. That's the rule. Because how did you poison me if I can't take the stinger from your cold, dead body? What's up, uh, Paul? How are you doing? It's been a while since we've seen you. Speaking of folks from the YouTube, the original Halberd Beam is here. Good to see you, my friend. I step away from some meetings. Have you run into any devil sores? I saw one, but I avoided him. I'm now trying to get stingers from random silithids around here. We've headed into... We've delved deep into Angoro Crater... You missed the streams due to very bad time difference. That's sad. Well, it is good to see you anytime you're able to hang out. Zero G has been playing with us, but also has work, so hasn't been able to play as much either. But we got a Zolfarak run in. Speaking of Devil Sores, we got a Zolfarak run in on um, Friday of last week, so that was a fun time. Crap, I'm gonna have no mana if I loot this, so I'm gonna stay in this one and fight this one. No spoilers. We'll try to make the end of the FTL cycle if that's a thing. Uh, it's still going. No spoilers. Well, did I just spoil by saying it's still going? Uh, whoops. You said if that's still a thing, so... <laughs> if it's still a thing, uh, look forward to it. No spoilers. If it's still alive. That would never spoil anything. Crap, you're gonna aggro. Can I sleep you? No, invalid target. Okay, run away. I don't want to mess with you. Okay, and you apparently insta-daze me. Okay. This is fine. I have a health potion. Yep, okay. Okay. Oh, do, 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 do. What can I do? I'll throw this up there. Uh, you did watch the second to last win, but you got a rock ship, so you're guessing it went well. Uh, I will not spoil and tell you. It's a secret to everybody. I would never spoil. Uh, you see, Angoro is still as scary as ever? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm 52, and these mobs we're fighting are like 51, 52, so it's basically even level mobs, so not surprising. Okay, uh, I should not have gotten into this fight at half health. I think I'm gonna use a potion here just to be safe. Uh, 
I'm an alchemist, so I can make more. All right, I just got the first talent of making my shape shifting less expensive. It doesn't feel that less that much less expensive, to be honest. <laughs> shape shifting still feels so expensive. And I'm just not getting stingers from these freaking stinger guys that are supposed to have stingers. I will not spoil, but the Rock Sea run had... Um, okay, that's, that's elite dudes. Had some memes going on. We'll go with memes. There was some meme-tastic stuff going on in a rock zero. So. Hopefully that's not too spoilery. But we'll let you look forward to it. Yeah, we're getting close to the scary part of this, uh, this zone. Because there are elite dinosaurs that are aggro on site. So, very careful. And me with the disease that makes our physical damage increased taken by 42%. Ah, nice, we got a stinger. Uh, you take it to the elite device still alive and cell found. Yes. That zero G that I keep talking about. I'm out of range. Who was uh who was here earlier? But uh is in and out between work, I think. <sighs> Oh my gosh, you just spawned right next to me. Okay, nice. And if whip on my ability sucks. Okay, I'm back up too far. Yeah, you know, just keep poisoning me. It's fine. It's fine. I love being poisoned. We do have to be very. I do have to be very smart in this zone. Always keep an eye around. I will say that at least um, the whole, you know, Tyrannosaur elite guy sneaking up on you, they do make the ground shake, so that design decision at least lets you know something spooky and scary is coming close to you. So if you see the ground shake, run. You run. You drop everything. And you run. Gosh, these guys are phasing in and out from really weird distances. I'm out of range. No, 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 don't aggro, don't aggro. It's too far away. I watch from one direction, from another direction, a guy just wanders in. I don't have energy. Not enough energy. Okay. Soil, but not the stinger. I saw a thing I need over here, right here. Okay. It's kind of sketchy, like, just hunting down these very specific mobs in the middle of all these other mobs that are even level and have some random elites around. But it's fine. It's calculated. We live on the edge here and on this stream. Man on the edge! Hey, nice stinger. The zone makes you super nervous for hardcore. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely sketchy. Uh, have I enjoyed being a druid? I have. Druid's very good. Um, I like the flexibility of it. I think I enjoyed Warlock's soloing a bit more because it felt like the Warlock could solo slightly better than the druid certain fights. Especially elites. But the druids got better ways to run away. And that's really useful and um, add some extra safety in hardcore. 
Like, I think I saw you comment on the video of me and Silly Device almost dying in Zulfarak the other day. And the ability to, you know, change forms, run away quickly, run back to help heal. Like, there's just a lot of tools. I feel like Druid might have the most utility in Classic WoW. With heals, shape-shifting, able to DPS, able to tank, able to, you know, run away. Just has a lot of different, really cool tools to use. Okay, well, almost done with one of my soil quests. I think I need 25 soil, honestly. Uh... Right. At least this is the place where all the stinger dudes are, it looks like. Stick around here for killing Gorishi wasps. But yeah, Paul, I don't know if you're interested, but the uh, thing that I've been talking about all stream today is... Uh, a different version of WoW called WoW Ascension. So, if you need something else to get addicted to where dying isn't the end, you might check out... It's called Project Ascension, I think is actually the official title, but... I'm telling everybody... I'm telling everybody about it today because I got into it last night. And, uh... People who enjoy the classic WoW might enjoy the craziness that is WoW Ascension. Shogi's, I think, checking it out right now. Okay, let me heal. I don't have enough money mana to go back another form. Okay. Uh, will I soon? 548? No, I'm going to mana potion this issue. I think that might be only the first or second mana potion I've actually used on this character anyway. What's the hook? The hook is... Uh, I know people in chat are getting tired of me talking about it all day. Sorry, chat. I talk about the same things over and over because different people come in and uh, I'm excited about it. Um, the hook for Ascension is it's not official Blizzard. Wow. It is a f um, fan-made um, private WoW server uh, using, I think, Wrath of the Lich King era quests and world and classes, but it's classless. You can choose any skill from any class as you level up. So there's just crazy combinations you can do of mix and matching all the skills in the game. And if it sounds crazy and imbalanced, I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, you don't have to apologize. It's my fault. I've been talking about it all day. <laughs> and I'm the one who brought it up, so it's my fault. But it's quite interesting, so... Um, that's like my thing that I checked out for the first time last night, so I'm all hyped about it to talk about it. So I've been talking about it all stream today. Alright, drop your stingers! The Rishi Wop Wasps, I need your stingers! Speaking of Shogi, how's your Dark Shaman coming along? Are you still playing or are you working? It sounded like you were playing earlier, but I also feel like this might be your time when you're at work right now while you're working and watching. I keep shredding their stingers. Of course they're going to not drop them. Okay. You're trying to do both. Don't tell my boss. Don't worry. <laughs> I never tell anybody's boss when they're watching my stream while they're working. I will never tell. That's that's the Rand guarantee. Launch my stream, game, do whatever you want. I'll never tell your boss. Oh, I thought I was invisible, but I forgot. Damn it. Missed out on ravaging you from behind. Missed opportunity. 
Uh, that's why you're here. You're talking to your boss and your other monitor right now. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the tip. You totally needed something to get addicted to. <laughs> Don't we all? Don't we all? Can never have too many gaming addictions. That's a lie. You can always have way too many gaming addictions. Having said that, you've been you stopped playing games again. You just been listening to Lit RBG. You haven't gotten around to my recommendation yet, but you will. Nice. Ah, so you like you like um, you like audiobooks. Okay. I could never get into audiobooks because anytime I listen to an audiobook, some voice is going to get on my nerves. Whether it's a voice that the the reader has or a voice they choose for a character in the book, like some voice is always going to get on my nerves. So that's why I've never been able to get into audiobooks. And I've just read for so long that I prefer my own imagination over the audiobook reader's interpretation of the character or whatever, so but that's cool. I bet I bet it's fun to listen to lit RPG in audiobook form. Because some of them are just so crazy. How many ability points do you get at level ten? You mean ability essence. Um I think it's one per level, Shogi, so I don't think you're gonna get like a big bunch of them at ten. It's weird. You get enough to get four abilities at level one. And then once you hit level 10, I think it's one per level. So it's like talent points in Classic WoW. You get one talent point and one ability... One talent essence and one ability essence per level, I think. I think. If you look in the game, I think it tells you. If you, like, hover your mouse over the tooltip for that or something, I think it'll tell you. Come on, dude. Go away. I need to kill this wasp. Bro, stop hanging out on top of each other. Come on. This isn't an insect party. There we go. Did I do it? Nice. You have to make the early ones count? Yeah, well, the early ones... Like I said, I think if at level 9 you decided to change them all out, it's no cost. I'm pretty sure... I was swapping abilities left and right, right to try to try out different things before level 10. I don't think it cost me anything. I think only it's once you hit level 10 that you start spending some currency that it's giving you to make swap outs of skills. So, if you're not level 10 yet, I would unlearn a skill and relearn another skill and see if it costs you anything. And I'm pretty sure it won't cost you anything. So that by level 10, you have made your choices and you stick with those choices. Or be prepared to spend some currency to make a change out once you hit level 10. Speaking of the Dungeon Crawler Carl series, has one of the best narrators you've come across. Oh, nice, nice. You know, I went wasn't a fan, but the audio production is epic. Well, that's really cool. My brother really likes the Dungeon Crawler Carl series. He, he told me about it. Parents become really popular in the lit RPG scene because I've I've read about a lot of people watching, uh, loving it, and I think one of the um, YouTubers I watch who talks about literature stuff, uh, talked about loving it. Nice, we're done. We're done with the stingers, beautiful. So apparently it's a really popular one. So it's cool that the uh, audio books are so good. Okay, um, so the blood caps while we head up towards these quests up here. Okay, look for blood caps and avoid um, avoid the scary dinosaurs. Angoro Crater is a really cool zone, even if it's really scary. The whole idea that, like, most of the mobs are, you know, Jurassic Park dinosaur mobs is so cool. This is always a really cool, just thematic zone. Um, they're even going so far as to remaster, redo the audio into a full radio play style affair. It's supposed to be quite immersive. Wow. Sounds like a pretty big investment. The, that Dungeon Crawler Carl series must be really popular if it's, uh, if they're investing in doing something like that. Okay. 
Okay, it says we're done with Ungoral Soil. I'm pretty sure I need four more, though. And I'm pretty sure on Goral Soil, at least one of the quests, I think might be re-repeatable? -re -re Repeatable, I think. Oh. By the way, thanks for anyone who's hanging out. Our uh, non-WoW days, I mean, non-FTL days are always more chill, and I really appreciate when folks hang out for the chill WoW. Because this is... This is always one of my most fun days. Just just chilling out, not worried about... Well, worried about dying to a random dinosaur, but not worried about losing a streak in FTL. <laughs> All right, that is 20... Okay, yes. It's 26. We have one extra soil. More than I need. Thank you. Um, classic WoW, go, go gather wolf teeth, kill 30 wolves... Turns out massive dental plague has been going through the wolf population, making them lose all their teeth. Yep. If there's one if there if there's one thing I would change about Classic WoW, it would be quest mobs dropping their quest items more. Or every time. Because it's just so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, if there are two things. What's the other thing that bugs me? Maybe some of the maybe the delivery and fetch quests are a little a little over the top. There's so many of them. Or the fact that they're just so far in Classic WoW. Well, because I mean I now have to deliver I have a Stormwind quest and a Darnassus quest. Because these quests, they don't care. Classic WoW devs didn't care. Oh. Quest in Timbuktu? Alright, deliver that to Russia. Oh, while you're in Russia, pick up that quest to turn it into Alaska. Like, really? 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 You could have made it a little bit closer to each other? Yeah, running simulator. That 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 is probably the other thing that would I would change if I if I were to make changes to Classic WoW, if I were. Alright, what level are these guys? 51, 52. Okay, we can do this quest here. I'm out of range. Okay, these guys hopefully are not resistant to fairy fire, fire like some elementals seem to like to be. Seem to like to be. Yes, yeah, so am I repeating myself? I might be repeating myself. <laughs> I mean, MMOs are a repetitive thing, and apparently me playing MMOs is a repetitive talking point discussion. Um, stream or something. I thought my screen shook for a second there with a dinosaur sneaking in. Okay. Oh, I should have healed before this fight. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. I'll heal after this fight. Hopefully, this guy won't evade bug in the water. Right, these guys seem less tanky than those. Insects were just fighting. I say this guy does some pretty heavy damage to me. Fingers on the potion. Fingers on the potion. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. Not even close. Throw a bandage on my face. You still have the Johnny Cash version of Hurt running through my head from my mention of questing for dirt 40 minutes ago. <laughs> my empire, dirt. It's a good song. Great cover. I will let you down. I will make you hurt. Or however that goes. It's been a while since I've heard that one. I think that's really the biggest thing that held you back in playing classic. You got too used to flying in retail, making it so much quicker to where you needed to go. Yeah. And it's, it's that thing, like, I've, I've, I've talked about this a lot. And I've talked about, I was talking about this to my brother over the weekend. Like, convenience is good, but too much convenience trivializes things. And that's, that's the thing with modern MMOs. There's so much convenience that it feels like nothing is earned and everything is handed to you, so... 
But I've repeated myself enough this stream. I'll, I'll not go to any any deeper than that. If I can hold myself back. It's a double-edged sword. Yeah, it is. Like fast travel. It's very much a double-edged sword. Finding the balance of convenience versus challenge. And what players want and what they'll accept on both spectrums. How much grind do you put into a game versus how much convenience to getting things that you want, getting your goals accomplished? Like in Skyrim, how many times do you actually travel the world rather than just fast traveling? Yeah, usually it's once, right? You travel to a place once, then you're like, okay, great, I can fast travel, then I can get here much quicker. Um, there was a game um, a lot of people were talking about when it came out with very limited fast travel. Um, I think it was Dragon's Dogma 2, where there was very limited fast travel. And it was an interesting discussion because some people liked not having too much fast travel because it forced you to go through the world and the world was pretty full of content. So you didn't feel the lack of stuff to do in the world because you're fast traveling through it. So as you were actually traveling the world, you were always fighting or doing a quest or um, you know collecting things for one of your companion's quests or something. So it didn't feel like the world was empty and you were just you know AFKing while doing running simulator. Yeah, how many times do you want to explore the world? Yeah. Yeah, that is one of the challenges. I'm hoping Ashes of Creation gets that part right. Make the world interesting, interesting enough and put enough stuff in that world so that the player doesn't mind experiencing that world as they go from activity to activity. Whether they're questing or raiding or PvPing or whatever. Make it so that it doesn't feel like they're just boring walking through the world, but it feels like they are exploring and going on an adventure. Make that time meaningful. It's too far away. Speaking of Skyrim, Skyrim even playing the survival mode, which disables map-based fast travels. We had been exploring the province, so it's nice. All right, there you go. If there's something to do and something to explore, then it's worth spending the time exploring, basically. Am I planning on staying Feral Druid once I hit max level? That's a good question, Drodri. Uh It depends on what I do. Because I actually have been... When we do the dungeons with uh, me and Zero G, or Silly Device, the Warrior, uh, the last two dungeons we've done, I've been healing, and it's been pretty fun. I actually have found Druid healing more enjoyable than when I did Priest. I like the Druid healing better. So... If I decide to do some dungeons or raiding with the guild that I'm in, maybe I will spec over to heal heals. If uh, they have a lot of healers and we need DPS, I will stay feral in DPS. I mean, health. They need a tank. I wouldn't mind learning how to tank on a druid. I was a main tank on a warrior years ago, so I wouldn't mind learning druid tank. The only reason tank would probably be my last choice, and not because I've done it so much before, but because. It looks like druid tanking is really boring. From what I've seen, druid tanking looks pretty simple, and I like there at least to be some kind of challenge and uh, variety in my gameplay. Warrior tanking has some interesting challenges like rage management and a lot of extra abilities you can use. Druid feels like, because it has so many different forms, a lot of forms feel like watered-down versions of things. And I've played so much warrior tank that playing a druid tank would feel like a very watered-down version of a warrior tank. So, if that makes sense, tanking, oddly enough, is probably the least likely for me to want to do druid uh, for druid once I hit 60. Uh, you have the carts, which is still a fast travel. It costs gold and time still passes. You get hungry, cold, and sleepy. Oh, okay. Talk about the Skyrim thing. Um... So that's a survival mode of Skyrim? Because I don't remember there being hunger or sleep mechanics. 
in uh, Skyrim. That must be part of that mod then. That's interesting. I've not heard of that version of Skyrim. Uh, why do you ask, Rodri? Are, are you uh, are you a druid main? Do you uh, do you have a lot of experience with druid specs? My little brother was is a uh, you know druid healer for life, so he was able to tell me all the things that he would do as a druid healer when we were talking over the weekend. One of the main things in classic WoW druid healing was using different. Um, ranks of healing touch to be as efficient as possible. It sounds like you don't actually use your heal over times that much except maybe on the tank. While the way to be max maximize efficiency is having all these different ranks of healing touch on your bar so you only heal exactly as much as you need. <laughs> I don't know if that gameplay would be super fun for me. Because I like just throwing hots on people, but sounds like that might have been the the true expert way of healing for Druid back in the day of Classic WoW. Because of how uh, healing touch is just the most efficient healing spell for the Druid, I think. Uh, the survival mod got integrated, and you have to deal with heat, hunger, and sleep. Along with zero map based fast travel. So if you go to the college, you will get frozen, losing max health without sources of heat or warm food. Wow. That is interesting. That is very interesting. The long dark meets Skyrim. Damn, I keep forgetting to redo my thorns when I pop out the wheel. Okay, well, we are slowly getting these things. I need seven more super sticky tar. Um, you were a you were a feral druid main. You find them so fun to play. Love to see others play them since they're less common than other specs. Yeah. When I started the character, my plan was to go feral for life. And mainly DPS. But uh, the last couple dungeons I've run, I've run heals. And it's been pretty fun. So I wouldn't mind doing heals. So heals or feral DPS are my two preferences. If I get a choice for, you know, what I end up doing once I hit 60. If we don't die on our way to 60. I'm out of range. Okay, well. Freaking fail. Trying to sneak on my guys underwater sucks. They're so slow, they turn around over and over. Uh, the survival mode doesn't do anything to carry weight, so 80 wheels of cheese you can still eat. Great! Great. <laughs> I remember a meme on like Reddit or something way back when. It's like some epic battle between a dragon and a dragonborn. Oh, did I just get a random 14 slot bag? Nice. Sadly, I maxed on 14 stack bags. And um, the dragon looks on in confusion as the dragonborn hero he's fighting all of a sudden stops fighting and starts shoveling a bunch of cheese into his face to heal. <laughs> Classic Skyrim healing. Just shove a bunch of food in your face to get get some heals. You also liked Boomkin. You're less familiar with them. Your healer was a Resto Druid. Nice, yeah. Yeah, my little brother uh, was tree form in Burning Crusade, and he had an alt. But he liked Druid so much that his alt was just a Boomkin. So he could have an alt Druid that was DPS while he had a main that was a Druid heals. That's how druid for life my brother is. He makes an alt like everybody does, but unlike other, other people who, when they make an alt, play a completely different class, he plays the same class with a different spec. <laughs> Which is a very Burning Crusade thing to do, because you didn't have... They eventually added, like, multi-specking, right? I forget which expansion that was. Maybe it was Wrath of Lich King, but I'm pretty sure they eventually added 
you know, you can have a DPS spec and a, you can have two different spec uh, specs, but that wasn't a thing in Burning Crusade, I don't think. Uh, honestly, looking at this place probably smells too high heaven and swimming in that swamp water doesn't help. Grandy or druids, maybe he's fine with the smell. I mean, yeah, druids, they're used to being out in the wilds and being all smelly. I'm in cat form, I'll just clean myself later. We'll be fine, we'll be fine. We're in cat form most of the time, so I'm sure we do lots of cat self cleaning. Got a role play, right? Tastes good with that tar water, you know it. <laughs> Tar water. Delicious, delicious tar water. I just realize these guys' names are Tar Lord. You know what that rhymes with? A famous guardian of the galaxy. It's totally where that name comes from. Come from comes from Star Lord the Tar Lord. Oh my god, really? How did you see me? My stealth sucks. I have Shadow Meld, which Night Elf Rogues and Druids with Shadow Meld are more pr difficult to detect while prowling. You should not have been able to detect me, bro. Bro, I'm so stealthy. You should not have been able to detect me in my Shadow Meld buffed. Rowling. Hope I need that. It's almost final break time here. It's looking less and less like I'm actually going to go for a Moradon break today. <laughs> I keep saying I want to do a dungeon and then... If, uh, silly device is known, I don't, I don't want to be the one who starts the dungeon. I want to be the one who's... Sit back, relax. Let somebody else lead the thing. Leading a dungeon while trying to also chat on stream is just is too much work. Man. Trying to chat while also leading a dungeon sounds like way too much work. It's too far away. Don't see me, don't see me. Go. After I hit 60, what class would I do next? Uh, I'm probably not going to do another class. I'm going to do whatever level 60 stuff I can do, like run dungeons, see if there's a raid group I want to join. And then if I keep playing WoW, which I've been talking about playing new games because I've been, it's been a while since I've played a new game. I've been talking about playing the Spider-Man game, but if I do play WoW, it might be that Ascension private server that I've been talking about. If I'm enjoying that and wanting to share that on stream and think I won't get, you know, demonetized or something playing that version of the game. I need to get closer. I'll have to look and see if there's any, you know, WoW Ascension streams on Twitch at some point. Pallies are boring. Yeah, if, there, if I did play another class, Pally would be the last one I choose. I find Pallies so boring. If I were to do another character, I actually have been thinking I might want to revisit Warrior again since it's been years since I played Warrior. I remember Classic WoW, Classic Warrior being ridiculously hard to solo because they have like no ability to run, very little utility. They're tanky, but they don't have a way to get out of roots. They don't have a way to get out of snares. Uh, they have no self heals. Like, to me, Warriors always felt like the hardest class to solo in Classic WoW. And the fact that Zero-G is solo self-founding Warrior is mind-blowing to me. That sounds like the hardest thing to do in Hardcore Classic is solo self-founding a Warrior. You're looking forward to yesterday's run hitting YouTube. That's 100% the run you're showing friends who ask about FTL from now on. Which one? The 
Crystal C one? So I don't, I'm not saying anymore because I don't want to spoil. Or the, um, oh, what was the other one? That was Roxy, not Crystal C. Roxy or the Roxy. Okay. And what even was the other run? My brain. Zoltan A. Zoltan A was the other one. That's right. That was the meme-tastic one. Yes, it was very meme-tastic. Why am I so slow? Oh my gosh. Black Sludge. 50% reduced attack speed, 30% reduced move speed. That is an insane debuff. Holy shnikes. Okay, well, I might be worth using a jungle remedy or something, but I'm going to save that for something... Even worse, I guess. Something that might kill me. If I were to design an update for FTL, what would I like to focus, it, focus on? Oh, gosh. An FTL update? Uh, oh, jeez. I don't know. When you play the game so many hours, it's hard for me to pick one thing. Because the only thing I can think of are the things that annoy me, like their enemies have too many missiles. So I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what I'd change in FTL. Like... To me, it's like the best roguelike. So I don't know what would... Because if you made it easier then I don't know if it'd be as replayable. If you made it harder, then I'd probably be even past the point where I would enjoy it with my enjoyment of a challenge. So I, I honestly don't know what I'd change in FDL. I have I have hard time with those kind of questions because I've played so much of it and the game is just how it is. And I don't, it's not a competitive game that's constantly going through rebalancing. So I don't feel the need to say, oh, this is too weak. So we need to buff this or anything I don't I don't really have a good answer for you this is just you but doing C variants for lanes and crystal to round them out oh uh, sure yeah adding an extra variant of those ships I mean that's fine I play so many modded ships that basically are C variants of those ships that I I feel like I've played that 50,000 times with fewer ships already so I don't feel the need for even more variants. I get that through uh, viewership, uh, viewer modded ships. You're exhausted like yesterday, you're probably gonna go to sleep soon. That debuff might have broken my stealth RNG luck. What's my stealth RNG luck? You mean the thing that makes me lucky to get really good drops? I haven't really been having some really good drops today. My quest drops have not been super fast, and uh, I've only gotten one random green today, so I don't think I have any good RNG luck today for uh, for looting. Uh, I'm going to not shapeshift because it costs me mana, and we'll just wait for the root to wear off. There we go. It's too far away. But FTL is a perfectly balanced cheating ass game, I know, right? I know. Why would you change a perfectly balanced cheating ass game? <laughs> There's nothing. Uh, RPG Nerdos should make a ship with four swarm missiles so we can enjoy past random speak. Oh my god. I, I'd have to turn off that mod if there was something. I wouldn't be able to stand listening to me curse that much. So, uh. <laughs> The curse ship would be one that I couldn't stand listening to myself because that would be way too many f bombs, way too many. Damn it! Girl Druid only has three forms, uh, only three combat forms, because uh, it has travel form, which is a different form of cat form. It's a different type of cat form, and of course their night elf form. So I'd say they have five forms in classic WoW. Is that right? Bear, cat, water, travel, which is cat, human, and you have moonkin. So I guess maybe six forms. If you count moonkin. 
Did I miss one? I feel like I got them all. You're gonna just, yeah, you're just gonna run through me. Still sucking. Moonkin, I can't show you because that is, uh, you have to go talent into the balance tree spec to uh, have Moonkin form. So that one is basically caster form with. Uh, that buffs your caster form. So Moonkin makes your moon fire and your direct damage spells uh, do more damage and have synergies and stuff like that. Or Boomkin, as some people call it, because you're booming them with your... Like your mage. It's like a mage form, you know, doing direct damage spells. <sighs> yeah, Duck Cruise. I was talking about this earlier... I, it's looking like no Moradon because I don't want to have to start a group. And so I basically have only been doing dungeons when Zero G is on Silly Device to join me. So I'm probably not going to do Moradon. I don't want to be like trying to stream and lead a uh, dungeon group sounds way too hard. I don't want to, I don't. If I'm going to be trying to chat with you all, I don't want to also be trying to organize things and mark polls and do all that stuff. It's just too much work. So, I think Silly Device will be able to play with us on Friday, so we'll probably plan on doing more Dawn on Friday. So, sorry. Good old watching Twitch on company time. Gotta love working from home and getting an external laptop. Nice, nice. And this uh, slowing down attacks is really punishing here. Okay. Damn, one more of these frickin' tars, man. One more. Now we can go turn in a bunch of quests. Time is, it is final break time, so I will, as soon as I get this last tar, we'll run to the uh, quest turn-ins and... Take our last AFK here. Sneaking around a guy in water who can detect me. Jesus Christ. Resist all my crap. Okay. Yes, you should be able to resist every ability I have while also seeing me through stealth and also dodging all of my attacks. You totally should. Star Lord. Please, Tar. There it is. All right. Quest done. Uh, you would totally not be watching Twitch on your work computer. Totally not. That's right. Nobody would ever do such a thing. Nice thing, though, with Druids is shapeshifting gets rid of movement disease. I thought it only gets rid of roots and snares. Well, if I shapeshifted, would that would have got would that have gotten rid of my that uh, Tar disease? It's a disease. I don't think that would work, Viper. It's considered disease. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't have removed that. Is Mage fun in Classic WoW? Yeah, Mage is very fun in Classic WoW. I have been losing it? Okay, I guess you're right. I haven't noticed. That's weird to me that that works on a disease. You're right, it's gone and there, it was a two minute long thing, so it must have been working. That's strange. Okay, I didn't think it would work that way. All right, my bad. Should have realized, I guess. All right, I need to sell stuff. Here, you all can look at this lovely link in here. This is... Honored, I'm sure. <laughs> link from Legend of Zelda. GG cookie time! We have not yet died to, um, you know, um, a devil sore or something. So, I'm Sam Trusty's restroom. Y'all feel free to grab a drink, grab a snack. When we come back, we will finish up with some more questing on Angora. Y'all rock. See you in a bit, my friends.